guys, today I'm going to tell you five reasons why I hate dropper bottles. My name is Sharon, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you subscribe below and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Okay, so let's get started. A lot of companies out there, especially these green beauty companies, are using dropper bottles. And I have seen these shelfies, if you will, of dropper bottles lined up and they look amazing. Like they look aesthetically pleasing and they look very scientific, um, like perhaps some kind of miracle is in here that's gonna make your skin absolutely amazing. And the second good thing about dropper bottles is that you can be very precise in measuring how much product you have. But for me, that's where it ends. Um, I hate dropper bottles. I wanna hear from you guys. You let me know your opinion on dropper bottles. And I'm gonna tell you guys my five reasons. So reason number one is I feel like this dropper bottle is super cheap. Yeah, the container itself. Dropper bottles have been around for a long time and you will see companies spending time, money, energy on developing the latest and the greatest innovative serums and oils. Um, and they will tell you that how these new, or maybe new, new to us, even though they've been around for a long time, these new oils and serums are going to work miracles for you. And then they literally pour it into a dropper bottle. I think it's very disrespectful to the product itself to be put in something um, that's been around for a long time. And I know people say, well, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yes, but um, you've got the latest and the greatest uh, research about the serum that you're using. I think companies should also spend time, money, and effort into developing a new container to put it in. So reason number two is I have had oils and serums eat through my dropper bottle ball. Um, so what happens is it starts to get sticky. Then I put tissue paper on and um, that tissue paper also gets sticky. So what is usually in these things? Um, you can find uh, acids, you can find essential oils, herbs, carrier oils, and they travel up through the glass. They can travel up here into the glass thing and then they're eating this bulb from the inside. So what happens is the material, the bulb material, whatever it is, rubber or whatever, is getting into your serum, okay? Your serum is getting contaminated with whatever this is um, and it's getting sticky. Now, I don't know how long that takes. It's gonna depend on the ingredients. It's also going to depend on the material you use and how old this dropper bottle bulb is. Um, but that has happened to me on more than one occasion from different companies. So I know that it's not it's not just user error or what, what have you, since it, it has happened multiple times. The third reason why I have it, is why I hate these, is that, I know you guys can't see, but my oil is here, and my dropper bottle ends here, up higher. So I have a couple centimeters of oil where my dropper bottle is not touching it, and I'm going to have to maneuver the bottle in order to get drops out. And I know that sounds incredibly petty and very first world problemish. Um, but if I'm going to be spending money on a serum, I want to be able to get it out easily. I don't have to maneuver it and think about how, figure out how to get the oil out. Uh, the fourth reason why I hate dropper bottles is that you are going to expose this material to light and air. So when I open the dropper bottle, I'm opening it and light and air is getting inside. And I know you guys think, you guys think I'm crazy. That's okay. Um... I don't care that light and air is only getting in for a few seconds. A lot of these ingredients are volatile, they're not stable, you know, they are unstable, and light and air can affect them and they affect their performance. So if you're spending a lot of money on a serum, um, you don't want it to degrade with time because of light and air. And the last reason, the fifth reason why I hate dropper bottles is because I've spilled them. And I know I'm not the only one. I know there are other people out there who have also spilled them. I've seen on forums, Facebook groups, I've seen articles written about people spilling Vintner's Daughter's per, um, serum. And, you know, perhaps you misjudge, you know, where your dropper bottle ends and where the bottle begins or what have you. You tip it over. And if there's only a little left or if you catch it really quickly, you've got really good reaction time, that's great. But I've seen some people who have lost, you know, a third or a half of their serum. And if you've got money and you can just go out and purchase another one, that's awesome. More power to you. But um, some of us, myself included, uh, you know, I budget uh, for serums. Uh, I expect this to last X amount of time. And if I spill half of it, 
uh, chances are I'm just gonna go without. And again, I know that sounds like first world problems, but that's okay. Um, so these are my five reasons why I hate dropper bottles. And I really wish companies would come out with a better container. I'm gonna create a video and I'm gonna link it below once I have it up about alternative to dropper bottles. Um, but these alternatives also have negative aspects to them. So hopefully in the future, some brand or some company will come out with this amazing container that can, that can work with all these amazing new innovative serums. Um, so please like this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I will see you guys later.